Hi there. Today I'm doing something a little bit different to normal. I'm going to be testing out different ways how you can try and clean and restore your chrome at home. We're not expecting these methods to make your chrome show winning, but we're going to try and make it serviceable so you can tidy it up and use it before you have to get it re-chrome professionally. So let's see the best ways of doing it. These seem to be the most common ways on the internet. The first one is metal polish. The second one is going to be steel wool. And the third one using aluminium foil. So as a test subject, I've got hold of a mud guard that we need to restore the chrome on and we're going to have a go and compare these different methods and see which ones are the best. So let's crack on and have a look. I've divided this mud guard into three sections. So the first one we're going to try is the metal polish. Now this is a, a very common brand of metal polish. It says that it's good on all metals including chrome and it's Solvol Autosol. In my opinion it's going to be a little bit too abrasive but let's give it a go and we'll see where we get to. So let's try some metal polish. Work it in small areas. Well, it's certainly improving it. say this is actually much harder work than I thought it was going to be. You can certainly see the difference. It's not really got rid of all of this. Well, that's cleaned it up. I think if you carried on for a long, long time, you probably would get rid of some of these pits, but I think this is just where it's just gone rusty. You're gonna to struggle to get rid of that, no matter what you do. Now the next material that I'm going to use to try and bring this up is wire wool. Now it's got to be the super fine wire wool which is normally four zeros. Just like here, four zeros on the packet. That's the one that you want. Don't use the coarse stuff. So let's have a go with this super fine wire wool and see where we get to with that on the next section. So let's get some of this wire wool. Now let's just spray a bit of water on it because I'm sure it'll work better if it's a little bit damp. I've 
seen people on YouTube swear by this method, saying it's the best method ever. It does seem to be cleaned it up quite, quite well. This is certainly a lot quicker going than using the polish. This is just another case of use, using an abrasive to remove the marks that are on there. So I'm just going to concentrate on this main front face. There we go, it's cleaned it up. You can't really do anything with this, these areas that are raised, which is actually the steel underneath coming through. Has certainly improved the line. Now we're on to the final test. Now this is using aluminium foil along with some coke. Now I've decided to use diet coke because it's going to be a lot less sticky. However, it's the phosphoric acid in the Coca-Cola that's going to be doing the work here. So let's see how this method goes. Chromed item here. I'm really interested to see what these three methods do to good quality chrome as opposed to chrome that is corroded and has seen better days. So I'm going to do the same three tests on this re chrome wood guard and we'll see how it works or if it's usable on new chrome. It's a cloth, so it's a fair test. Put some polish on it. less gritty than before. Oh, I can actually sort of feel a, almost a scraping sensation. So hopefully that's not scratching it. Let's get some paper towel. Don't know if you can see it on the camera, but this is Actually, where I've rubbed it, you can actually see lines in it. Sort of like skates on ice sort of effect. Yeah, you can see scratches, visible scratches from that. Now, let's try the wire wall method.
but not least. A new piece of aluminium foil. damaged a really nice quality crown The one that scratched, scratched the most is the aluminium foil which has actually surprised me. The wire wool scratched it less than I thought it would but where it has scratched they seem to be more prominent scratches. Now the metal polish has scratched it all over evenly so you've got like a, a skates on ice effect and you can see all the swirls. This one seems to have less swirls but where it's caught it it's actually scratched it more deeply so you've got more sort of lines running and the aluminium foil seems to have scratched it everywhere it's touched it so the aluminium foil on good chrome is a very bad idea on the wire wool that doesn't seem to be a very good idea now the metal polish although it's scratched it less deeply it's scratched it more evenly but you really have to be careful what type of metal polish that you're using on chrome because anything with abrasives in is going to leave visible barks. So in conclusion, of the three methods, so we've tried metal polish, we've tried the wire wool and the aluminium foil. Just to be clear, of the three methods tested on the old chrome mudguard, my favourite was the aluminium foil and the coke. The reason is you've got both of those in your cupboard, you probably haven't got to buy any more materials and it was the quickest way, far quicker than the other two. So for me, that wins. All three methods did work and they improved the chrome and they could make it serviceable for you, but there's no way to make it brand new again other than having it redone. The aluminium foil is by far the quickest and easiest method, but do not use the, any of these three methods on good quality chrome like this because you're going to damage the finish. If you've got something that's in a really poor condition like this and you need to improve it, these are great methods, but if you want an absolute mirror finish, the only way is to have it professionally re-chromed which is a far more expensive route. The other problem is, this isn't going to keep the rust away. You may be able to apply some sort of wax polish or something like that to help fill these pits up, but it's not actually going to offer it any weather protection like a new coating would do. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the different methods tested because I've seen these numerous times on YouTube and I've not tried any of them myself, so I thought I would try it and see how it goes. Thanks for watching and if you enjoy our videos give us a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel and comment below if you've got any other different methods that you use for cleaning chrome. We could even test them out at a later date.